We all know how refreshing that first sip of a cold drink can be in the summer, but why settle for plain old water when you don't have to? Today I'm bringing you the absolute best summer drink ideas and none of them have any added sugars that you can be as hydrated as possible. Hey, hey, my name is Taylor and I'm the girl on Bloor. If you're new here, welcome. I'm all about showing you how to make easy, healthy recipes that you can live your best life. And to me, living your best life involves some amazing flavorful drinks to get you through the summer heat, whether you're adding alcohol or not. Today I'm showing you how to make five amazing fruity combinations that are awesome ways to keep you cool in the summer heat and even get some extra vitamins in there too. The most amazing part is that I'm taking the natural sweetness of the fruits in each drink to enhance the refreshment factor instead of adding any sweeteners. So basically all of these drinks are low cal and the perfect addition to a healthy eating routine. Okay, let's dive right in. So our first drink today is a light and delicious honeydew mojito. Adding some melon boosts the natural sweetness while eliminating the need to add sugar. We're gonna start by adding about one cup of honeydew melon. You'll be using half for the drink itself and then the other half to fill the drink with. I usually buy the pre-cut cubes to save time, but you can always buy a whole melon and cut into cubes yourself. Add about half a cup of your honeydew melon cubes to a shaker bottle. Then you're gonna juice three limes and add that to the shaker. Now add half of a bunch of mint leaves, which ends up being about half a cup. Muddle everything together and then you're going to add some ice to your shaker bottle, add your lid, and then shake everything up to combine. From there, you'll also slice up one lime for garnish. Now take four tall glasses and fill them with ice, then you will divide the mixture you just shook up. Add in your remaining melon cubes and sliced up limes, then top with sparkling water or club soda. Garnish with a sprig of mint and you are good to enjoy. I love this twist on a mojito because you still get the sweet element with the melon and it's a great way to use up some honeydew if you have it kicking around about to go bad. Make sure to give everything a good stir and then enjoy. Now for all of the recipes I'm showing you here today, you can add some alcohol if you'd like. I've made these drinks to be very easy and delicious as mocktails, but they make the perfect refreshing cocktails as well it will probably help with a hangover since they have minimal sugars and are mostly made up of fruits tea or sparkling water gotta hydrate right so add any alcohol you'd like to this drink I recommend rum gin or vodka and now I'm going to show you how to make the next drink so drink number two we are going to make this incredible watermelon lemonade we all know lemonade is a classic summer drink but it's often sweetened with a ton of sugar one way around this is by using a naturally sweet fruit like watermelon to cut the acid of the lemons more melon to the rescue. This is probably the most labor intensive drink out of all the ones I'm showing you how to make today, but it's totally worth the effort. You're going to take half of a small seedless watermelon and then cut it in half again. Cut the one half into cubes, then add to a blender with one cup of water. Now juice two lemons and add that to the blender as well. Blend until smooth, then you're going to take a fine mesh sieve and place it over a pitcher to strain the pulp from the watermelon. Now you'll slice up your remaining watermelon into cute little wedges and then slice up one more lemon for the garnish. Add ice to your glasses once again and divide the watermelon mixture among them. Add your garnishes and enjoy. The garnishes are never necessary, but they're so cute and I'm convinced they make your drink taste better. Why do you think $20 cocktails always taste so good? I'm telling you, part of it is the eye candy. You're going to want to keep a batch of this watermelon lemonade on hand at all times this summer. It's so crisp and refreshing and tastes just like summer in a glass. Suggested alcohol pairings for this drink would be vodka, tequila, or whiskey if you're looking to take things up a notch. Okay, switching to one of the easier drinks now. You're gonna have this pineapple coconut cooler on repeat all summer once you see how quickly it comes together. Legit, all you need to do is take one cup of pineapple juice and add it to a pitcher, then pour in one liter of coconut water. In most cases, you'll just pour the whole carton in. Be sure to look at the label and make sure you are using a coconut water with no sugars added. It'll be a bit more expensive, but it's worth it to go for the good stuff as your drink will already be sweeter with the pineapple juice. Mix the pitcher together and you should know the drill by now. Fill your glasses with ice, divide the mixture, and then add your garnish. For this drink, it'll just be a slice of pineapple, but you can also add a sprig of mint if you'd like. Serve and enjoy adding a bit of rum or tequila if you are so inclined. This is a fabulous two ingredient drink that literally comes together in two minutes. The vibe I was going for here was a lighter pina colada inspired drink, but avoid the whole stomach upset thing with all the added sugars, heavy cream, etc., etc. Now for our next drink, we are taking iced tea to a whole new level. You're gonna get out two bags of green tea and then let them soak in four cups of room temperature water for at least 30 minutes. And with the magic of video editing, we are ready to make the drink. Add your green tea to a large pitcher and mix in one cup of mango nectar. Again, another easy two ingredient recipe. Add ice to four glasses and divide the mixture among each. Garnish with a slice of fresh mango and a sprig of mint if desired, then serve and enjoy. Vodka or gin would be your best bets here if you want to give this iced tea 
tea, the cocktail treatment. Next to lemonade, this is the other summer staple drink that you should always have on hand for hot and sticky days, and the mango definitely takes the tea to the next level. Okay, last summer drink idea that you're gonna be obsessed with. Say hello to these strawberry basil fizzes. Fizzes or fizz, you get what I'm trying to say. So take half a pound of strawberries and then divide in half. Model half of them in a large pitcher, then mix in half of a package of basil leaves, which should be about a quarter cup. Top with one liter of strawberry flavored sparkling water, then mix it all together to combine. Take four glasses filled with ice and divide the mixture, garnishing with the remaining strawberry slices and fresh basil leaves. Serve on its own as a delicious mocktail or add some vodka, rum, or even some rosé. Hello! Quick sangria, I'm in. I recommend making this particular drink at the height of strawberry season on the East Coast, which is around the middle of June to mid-July. I always go with my mom to pick strawberries and this drink would be perfect for them. And there you have it. You've got five summer drinks that you can use to beat the summer heat and also relax with on the patio. I'm definitely heading out there now and am about to enjoy them all because why the heck not? You can find the full written recipes in the description below this video. If you end up trying any of these amazing drinks, tag me on Instagram at the girl blur so that I can share your picks. And if you enjoyed today's video, I'd love for you to give it a like or subscribe to my channel. It helps you continue to see my recipes and get some more healthy eating inspiration. Thanks so much for being with me here today. I really appreciate it. And I always have so much fun sharing these recipes with you. I'll see you in the next video.